みだよみどみアルカスガミゲーター Hi, a little gators! Heck and I are on our way to Saturn to try and find the next energy star fragment! We have a long way to go, so we're talking about all the planets we've visited already! Well, Gus, I'm getting super hungry, so I'm gonna go home and get a popsicle. Wait, what? You can't just leave me out here in outer space, Peck! Don't worry, Gus. Just stay on autopilot and you'll be just fine. <laughs> Gotta go. Uh, well, I guess it's just you and me now, little gators. I'm getting pretty hungry myself. Good thing I brought some yummy gummies. Okay, little gators. I'm gonna take a snack break myself. You can check out this video and see how this search for the energy star all started. See you soon! Hi, you little gators! It's a beautiful day! Did we play tag? Or hide and seek? Or maybe... Whoa! What's a giant ball of night falling from the sky? It's falling so fast! Whoa! Huh? Gus, did you see that strange object falling from the sky? I did, Peck. What was it? I'm not sure, but it's definitely not something that happens every day. My radar shows it's landed in the park. Can you meet me there? You got it, Peck. I'm on my way. You heard Peck, little gators. Let's check it out. Hiya, Peck. I made it. Whoa, it's so bright and shiny. Hey, Gus. It sure is bright and shiny. I wonder if it has any superpowers. Wait a second. It looks like it's broken on one side. Good observation, Gus. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I've been running some tests, and this object is generating extremely high amounts of energy. Whoa! Do you think I could use it to power up my gaming controller? The batteries keep running out. Your gaming controller? This amount of energy could power an entire city! <gasps> what? It's finally here! This is the energy I need to make my evil plan come true! Now's the time to strike! <laughs> hey Peck, did you see the dirt on the other side of the object? I sure did, Gus! Let me run a quick scan to see if I can figure out where it's from! Oh, popsicles! According to this test, these particles are from all around the solar system. That means this object is from way out of space. Whoa! With something creating that much energy, it'd be a shame if it fell into the wrong hands. I should get a test sample so I can test it back at the lab. <laughs> Stand aside, little ones. I've been waiting for this fragment to land on Earth for years. Now I'll be able to take over the world. No, the entire solar system. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's that powerful. Uh, silly gator. This fragment is just one piece of something called the energy star. The energy star has unstoppable power, and I'm going to find all the pieces for myself. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice try, Gustav! But we won't let you get away with this! Oh, really? You both just need to chill! <laughs> it's finally mine! Now I can use this fragment to track down the other missing pieces scattered across the solar system. Then nothing will stop me from taking over every planet. <laughs> you won't get away with this, Gustav! Let me show you what I can do with just this small fragment. <laughs> Popsicles, did you see how fast this spaceship teleported? That star fragment is way more powerful than I could have ever imagined. Oh, rats, we'll 
never stop Gustav with that kind of power. I have a plan, Gus. But we need to get to the peck pod ASAP. Let's go. Wow, it's just as awesome as I remember. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go stop Gustav. Um, about that, there's one small problem. The Pickbot only has enough fuel to carry one person, and we must hurry before Gustav gets too far! Wait a minute! Are you saying I have to go to outer space by myself? You can do it, Gus! I know you can! I'll be here at ground control, helping guide you across the solar system! You can do it, Gus! You totally got this, Gus! Just believe in yourself! You're right, Little Gators! I can do this! I'm ready, Peck! Let's do this! The first sample I tested says it's from Mercury! Oh boy! Oh boy! Did you say Mercury? That's right in front of the sun, Peck! Buckle up, Little Gators! We have to save this solar system and find the energy star before Gustav! I still don't understand how this thing works. Oh, uh, hi, you little gators. I didn't see you there. Did you all see that star fragment fall from the sky? That was so cool. Gustav is always up to no good, so we've been giving him a battle for each star fragment. Thanks to Peck's spacesuit, we were prepared to get the second fragment on planet Mercury. Ooh. It sure was hot on Mercury, too. Just thinking about it makes me hot. Oh, that reminds me. Why did the planet Venus have to get an air conditioner? I don't know, Gus. No idea, Gus. Why? Because Mercury moved in. <laughs> oh, sheesh. A crowd. Maybe this next video will remind you just how hot it is on the planet Mercury. Then I'm sure you'll laugh. We have to get the next fragment before Gustav, or he'll have too much power for us to defeat. Ah, uh, this thing is going so fast. Is there a way to slow this thing down? Oh no, that didn't help. Uh... Hey Gus, how's everything going? Not good! Oh, push the autopilot button, Gus! The red one? Not the red button! The green button at the top of the dash! I can't reach it! <sighs> Look out, Gus! You're headed straight for a planet! Close. Gus, activate the navigation screen using the yellow keypad. I loaded the coordinates for Mercury before you took off. Your destination is Mercury. Your destination is in 5 million miles. The planet you almost hit is Venus, Gus. It's beautiful. Yup, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system and is almost the size of Earth. But unlike the rest of the planets, Venus is the only planet that spins in the opposite direction. <laughs> That's cool! Oh, you weren't lying, Peck. It's starting to get really hot in here. Oh, well that's because we're getting closer to Mercury, which is the second hottest planet in our solar system. And it's the smallest planet too! Whoa! That is a bright star! The sun is quite amazing, Gus. Gus, snap out of it! You just passed Mercury! Recalculating. Turn around to reach destination. Wow! Gus, the sun is around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and it will melt the peck pod! Oh my gummies! <laughs> Sorry, Peck. I've never been this far in the solar system before, so I guess I got distracted. I think you need to cool down and relax for a minute. Push the snowflake button to turn on the AC. Ah, that's nice. Ooh, 
let's turn it all the way up. Wow, Daddy she has all the power. Yeah, makes me feel like I'm back home in the Arctic Circle. Ah, good times. Oh, we're about to land on Mercury. Heck, how do I land this thing? Oh, oh, right. Go ahead and push the land button. Oh! Heck, there's Gustav. I hope he hasn't found the star fragment already. Ah! Why isn't it working? I need that star fragment. Alert, system cooling failure. Alert, system cooling failure. I knew I should have brought my space suit. It looks like Gustav's laser beam retractor isn't working. Yeah, go figure. I think the heat from the sun and Mercury is messing with Gustav's laser setting. Oh no, I can't go out during the heat. That is correct, Gus, which is why I supplied you with a heat-proof astronaut suit. Go ahead and put it on. Not the gummy gator! This is not happening! Ah, that does it! If I can't have it, neither can you, Gus the gummy gator! Watch out, Gus! Jump, Gus! Jump! Huh? Whoa, whoa! Oh no! You will never get away with this, Gus the gummy gator! Thanks for the heads up, little gators! Yay! We found the second piece to the energy star! We did it, Peck! We got the second star fragment! No popsicles! Oh, the next test result just came in! It looks like the star fragment also traveled by Mars, Gus! You gotta hurry! Got it! Navigation is set to Mars! Here we go! Push this button. What is Gus doing? Hey, Gus! Tech pod self destruct now activated. Uh, Peck, what's happening? Oh boy, you pushed the self destruct sequence, Gus. Well, how do I turn it off? Don't worry, Gus. I was going to be a fried gummy gator again. <laughs> Just like when Olympus Mons was about to erupt. Remember, Gus? <laughs> yeah, I remember. How could I forget? Check out this video to watch Gus almost get covered in lava from planet Mars, little gators. <laughs> there are still three fragments left in our solar system. So let's go, little gators. Woohoo! <laughs> Gus, you need to slow down. You're at max speed and you don't have any fuel left! Warning, no fuel. Brace for impact. Ah! Push the land button now, Gus! The land button! Uh, uh, just how I planned it. Whoa, wee! I thought almost crashing made me sweat, but I think it's because of the heat. It feels hotter here than on Mercury. Danger! Extremely high temperatures! 880 degrees Fahrenheit! Gus, don't you remember? I told you Venus is the hottest planet in the entire solar system. Anyway, I think now is the best time for you to get your heatproof suit back on, just to be safe. You got it, Peck. But Peck, how are we supposed to refuel the Peck pod if there aren't any gas stations on Venus? Well, Gus, I built two alternative power systems for the Peck pod to operate off of in case of emergency. The first one runs on a standard battery or other contained energy source, and the other runs on carbon dioxide. And, as I'm sure you know, Venus's atmosphere is 96.5% carbon dioxide. Whoa! That's Spectacular planning there! Way to go, Peck! It is quite spectacular, if I do say so myself. 
Now go ahead and press the yellow button on the dashboard. This will change the power system over to carbon dioxide. The Peck Pods fuel is at 100%. Way to go, Peck! You're a genius! Oh, popsicles. Now let's get out of here before I become Gus the Fried Gummy Gator! Whoa! There's the planet Mars! I had no idea it was so red! Yes, Gus. Mars is nicknamed the Red Planet because of how red it is. And it gets its red color from all the rust in its atmosphere. Uh, heck, what's going on? <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you Mars's gravity is about one third times that of Earth's. But don't worry, Gus. I've already planned for this too. I'll activate your magnetic boots from ground control. Woo! Saved me again! I don't know how I would. Wow! Look! The star fragment is starting to glow more and more! I think that means the next fragment is close by, Gus! Woohoo! Ah! Where could that third star fragment be? I can't find it anywhere! <gasps> Wait! I'll just track that silly peck pod so Gus the Gummy Gator can lead me right to it! <laughs> I don't see the star fragment anywhere. Where could it be? There it is, Gus. Right down there, Gus. You're right, little gators. I see it too. Time for our next spacewalk. Gonna get the energy star. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Whoa. How did I not see that huge mountain? I better get the star fragment and get out of here! Silly Gator! I knew you would lead me straight to the next star fragment! <laughs> oh no! It's Gustav! I won't let you take the star fragment! Not so fast! I did it! The third star fragment is all mine! Now that I have two star fragments, I'll be able to... No! Wow! What's going on? I need to get back to the pet pod! Heck, Gustav got away with the next star fragment! But I think there's an earthquake or something happening right now! I tracked your coordinates, Gus, and it looks like you landed right next to Olympus Mons. It's a volcano that's two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. Oh, my gummies! We need to get out of here quick! Olympus Mons might erupt any second! The next test results came in, Gus. The fourth star fragment is on planet Saturn. Get your Gator 2 out of there! You heard that, little gators! Looks like we're going to Saturn! Jeez, Peck! The carbon dioxide fuel system really saved the day! Oh, it was nothing. Just years of research and development. Well, it definitely saved my gator tail back there on Mars. True, true. If Gustav didn't end up stealing the fragment from us, we would have had a great Mars mission. We did our best, Peck. And we'll keep trying to make sure Gustav doesn't take over the solar system! That's right, Gus. And I can't wait to explore the planet Saturn. I'm so excited! Woohoo! Thanks for watching! See you next time, little gators! Bye! Bye.